Happy Friday Eve, fifth grade. Today we're gonna to dive into some more coordinate graphing. We're going to review plotting points when there are fractions on our coordinate plane, and we're also gonna talk about coordinate distance, which is one of our two key terms today. Coordinate unit, we talked a little bit about yesterday, is one a box on the coordinate grid. So no matter what our um, coordinates are labeled one every single line or box on the coordinate grid is just one unit. Even like uh, this coordinate grid, if each uh, box is still is less worth less than one, like these are, there's one, two, three, four, five units until we get to one, it's still just one unit no matter what our axes are labeled. The coordinate distance is going to be the number of units between two points or lines on the coordinates or on the coordinate plane. Let's take a moment to make sure we jot down those two key terms and then we will jump into we do number one. We do number one asks us what fraction are the units in this coordinate plane broken up into. So what is one unit worth? Well, let's find out. So we know that one unit isn't worth one because there's a whole bunch of units in here before our first one. So let's do what we did yesterday. And between zero and one on our x-axis, let's turn these units into a little tape diagram. And let's partition it right on the grid lines. So now we've created a fraction between 0 and 1. And it's partitioned into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal parts. So our coordinate grid is broken up into fifths. Let's double check the y-axis to make sure it's also broken up into fifths. Here I'm going to go between the 1 and the 2 because the distance between any of our numbers is going to be the same. So from 0 to 1 is going to be the same distance as from 1 to 2. Let's make a tape diagram from 1 to 2 on the y-axis and partition it right on the coordinate lines. And again, it's broken up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal parts. So we know that both the x and y axis are broken up into fifths. And we know this because there are five equal units between each whole number on both axes. Right. There was five equal units between one and two on the y-axis, five equal units between zero and one on the x-axis. That's how we know it's broken up into fifths. If you are online, don't worry about trying to plop digital tape diagrams onto your grid. Just make sure you have these two questions answered here in your notes, and then we'll move on to we do number two. On we do number two, we have an identical coordinate plane to the coordinate plane from we do number one which we determined was partitioned, uh, broken up into fifths. So I've gone ahead and labeled all the fifths so you can see what each point on each axis would be, and the denominators are all uh, fifths. We're gonna plot some points just like we did yesterday. These points are gonna create a line, and then we'll talk about uh, coordinate units and coordinate distance 
our key terms from earlier. First, let's plot, plot the square. Just like yesterday, let's remind ourselves that the x and the y is the crawl and then the climb. The square coordinates are 3 fifths and 1. A crawl of 3 fifths, a climb of 1 hole. So drag or draw the square right there. Let's plot the triangle together, and then you can plot the trapezoid and rhombus on your own. The triangle also has a crawl of 3 fifths, but a climb of 1 and 2 fifths. And drag or draw a triangle right there. Let's pause here and have students independently plot the trapezoid and the rhombus. Once you've plotted those two shapes, you should have four shapes that look like this on your coordinate plane. The next direction is to connect all the shapes with a line by either dragging the line on your slides or drawing it on your paper, and we're going to name that line, line Q. So drag a line that goes through and touches all of our shapes. Right, like we talked about yesterday, we'll notice this line is parallel with the y-axis. And let's label it line Q. Once you have those plots plotted and line Q on your grid, go ahead and insert video number two into your notes. And then on video number three, we'll answer some questions about the points in line we just created. Video number three asks us three questions about our graphing from we do number two. First question asks, how many units apart is the square from the rhombus? Now remember, all of the units, if you if you remember our definition, a coordinate unit is just one box on the coordinate grid. So even though these boxes are labeled as fifths, we may be tempted to think one box is worth one fifth, but one box is just one unit. So we're just going to count from our point where we marked the square, which was three fifths and one. Here's our square and the rhombus, which had coordinate points of three fifths and two and one fifths. We're just going to count one, two. Three, four, five, six. I referred back to my chart because my shape, our shape kind of covers um, more than one point here, but it was that middle part right of the shape that our coordinates were from. So make sure you double check your coordinates because our drawings aren't always going to be perfect. Right there, that was six units which is the answer to the first question I would do number three. Six coordinate units. Next, which shape is the greatest distance from the x-axis? So which shape is the farthest away from the x-axis? The x-axis is right here. And it's just gonna be the furthest one away, which is our rhombus. The rhombus is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units away from. Recounted and got eleven. Let me double check here. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, yes, 11 units away. We can also just tell by looking at the graph that the rhombus is the further shape away from our x-axis at the bottom here. Answer is the rhombus, and then in parentheses I'll put 
11 units was our distance. Next, which shape is the furthest away from the y-axis? Here's our y-axis. Runs parallel with line Q. And let's count for each shape. One unit, two unit, three units for the rhombus. One unit, two unit, three units from for the triangle. One, two, three for the square. And one, two, three, four, the trapezoid. Teachers, let's pick a stick. Without looking at our graph, just looking at our coordinates, how could we know that all four of our shapes were going to have the same distance from the y-axis? How could we tell that by just looking at our coordinates? Let's pick a stick. We could tell this because all of our shapes have the same coordinate point for x. They all have the same x value. And x, when we plot for x, we're crawling away from the y-axis. So when we call, crawl 1, 2, 3 fifths away from the y-axis for each shape, they're all going to be 3 units away from the y-axis. So a little bit of a trick question there. All the shapes are three units from the y-axis. Let's make sure we have those three questions answered and let's get we do number three into our notes. Our exit ticket has two parts, very similar to the last we do wish completed. You're going to plot uh, four different shapes on your grid. Their coordinate points will have fractions in them. When you climb for X and crawl for Y, you'll then create a line connecting each of these points. And then on part two of your exit ticket, you'll answer the same questions that we did for we do number three, except the coordinate points are going to be different. So your answers will not be the same. Once you've plotted your shapes, made your line, and answered these three questions, go ahead and turn in your notes.